If you've got an iPhone 5 or recently upgraded one of your devices such as an iPad, iPod Touch or iPhone to iOS 6, then there is a new feature in the clock. On the iPad, it's actually introduced the clock, which is here. It may be in a different place on yours, but it is the same feature that you have on the iPod Touch and iPhone, just with a different layout. So it does actually have a world clock and here you'll see it's also got temperatures and you can simply add one by tapping on the add over there and you could just choose another city you can search at the top and I'll leave you to do that. It's also got an alarm which we're going to come back to in a moment, stopwatch and also timer. If I go back to the alarm one thing that it did have is when the alarm went off it played a ringtone. Now you might actually find that if you're using this to wake up to you don't want to be startled by some of the ringtones. You may prefer to wake up to something such as a song. So on all of these devices now, you can just simply add an alarm. You can choose what time you want. I'm just quickly scrolling through here. And you can see that I can now choose a sound from here. And I have the ringtones down here, but up at the top, I've got some songs and you can see there's some that I've already chosen. So I could choose from one of those. Or you could go to pick a song and you can choose anything from within your library here. So I could maybe choose maybe something like Crocodile Rock to wake up to. That would sort of maybe really get you enthused for the day perhaps. But you can choose whatever song you like. So this is a much neater way of being able to be alerted. So now you can have songs as well as ringtones. All I had to do there was tap on back, choose save, and this feature is exactly the same on both the iPhone and iPod Touch. So that is the iPad, it now has the clock, and also it now has the ability to play a song rather than just have a ringtone.